Finca Bahia, Ernest Hemingway's Havana home, a grand reminder of Cuba's past and its love for the famous American author. It's about to undergo a major restoration, a project made possible in part by the warming diplomatic relations between the U.S. and Cuba. Hemingway's grandson, John, spoke with VOA by Skype from Spain. Ernest Hemingway really is something that unites them, okay? He is apolitical. He is for the Cuban people. He is very much an American writer. He is the perfect bridge, I would say, between the two countries. U.S. President Barack Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro began rebuilding that bridge when they met at the Summit of Americas in April. Since then, a sense of anticipation has been building on the island nation and amongst many Cubans living in the United States. Mark Hansen from the Washington Office on Latin America says the change is long overdue. Our Cuba policy has run counter to our values for a very long time. Young people don't get it. Most people don't get it. And even in the Cuban-American community, what we're seeing now is that they increasingly don't think it's the right, the right strategy going forward. It is generational, but I should say there are a lot of older Cubans who are traveling back to the island for the first time. Although opposition continues in the U.S. Congress to lifting the decades-long economic embargo, mainly because of human rights concerns, American companies are already seeking ways to do business with Cuba. And John Hemingway, a frequent visitor to the island, says the Cubans are ready. They want change. They want a normal life. So this is something that they're very anxious about. They want it. They really are looking forward to seeing change, to a kind of a liberalization in relations, to enjoying the kind of normality that many countries have. Cal Perry, VOA News, Washington.